What is the strangest director's note you've been given on this show? <laughs> uh, engage uh, Borna. Yeah. I mean, what exactly is the problem here? I mean, can you even get a hard on? I wait for them to go away. I don't like how it feels. <laughs> Story behind that. <laughs> context. context. <laughs> Let's do context. some context. No, I'm good. Um, <laughs> Uh, in season one, and actually season two was a lot more prominent, mm -hmm. uh, Otis's bonus. Not to brag. Um, yeah. Uh, and um, Ben's, the director's favourite thing whenever there was a bonus scene was to shout across the room, engage boner, which yeah. is basically my cue to take the, the, the boner out my pocket and put it under my jeans. Um, and this just became a whole other bit. I think when, I think um, they turned it into a song. Someone, <laughs> someone sampled it. <laughs> Uh, Robin sampled it and then put it on like his mix track. He's like, engage, engage, boner. <laughs> engage, engage. She touched my eyebrows. Now I have an erection. <laughs> There's often moments where uh, when we're filming, mm -hmm. uh, we're, oh, I love when Ben does this, Ben Taylor, he will we'll start filming and then he'll just keep it rolling. Mm -hmm. So you'll finish the scene and then you'll still kind of be in it, right? Yeah. And he'll yeah. just... Shout stuff out. It'd be like, okay, great. Um, let's do that again. But um, okay, be more like a bear, like in that bit. You know what I yes. mean? So you'll just get like a stream of commentary. So you just have to pretend. You just have listening, and then like, right, you just do this, just just do the scene again, and yeah, it's yeah. all on tape. You'd be like, okay, stop. No, just go back and. Do you remember that scene we did that's in the trailer where I'm like, oh, I think I just had a very small orgasm. Yeah, I think I just had a very small orgasm. Oh my god. And uh, we, he just they like, kept rolling on us, and we just like. <laughs> He was like, okay, have a, have, a, have a very small orgasm. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know. I did yeah, a really we did good, it. We both did really good small lag orgasms, but no, I don't think they made the cut. In sex scenes, working with our intimacy director, who would shout, you know, more horse. <laughs> Act more like a horse. <laughs> Bonobo. Yeah. Can you explain Bonobo? Or demonstrate for the camera? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I can't wait for the blooper reel. <laughs> yeah, it's oh just God, it's going to be so good. Having a little small orgasm. Yeah, small orgasm. Small. I think our orgasms were a bit too big. That's why we had to do that again. It was, it was like, have a small one, not a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Softer, slower, lower. Lower, yeah. <laughs> that tub's not really my thing. What is your thing then? Complex female characters. Uh, where's the weirdest place someone has spotted you? I think the, the hardest thing is being in a queue for somewhere, for the Eurostar, for example, like yesterday morning, and someone just goes, Maeve! <laughs> and I'm like, hello! And, I'm like, and it's very sweet and they're very lovely, but it is, it's sort of six in the morning, you're like, oof! I mean, they could call you Maeve's nickname. That would be a lot <laughs> that worse. That would be a lot worse. Or like... they could call me by my real name, which would be another thing. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? That would be cool. That but they're always ideal. very lovely. It's always very lovely. I was in Kenya visiting my brother and we went on a safari because I've always, always wanted to go on a safari. Mm. And we're kind of in the middle of nowhere in Kenya. Um, and, <laughs> and someone comes up to me and is like, are you, in, are you in sex education? I'm like, where is this what show? Is You're not. Well, who's not watching this? You it's, can't escape it. it. Can't escape. Yes. I only went to Mallorca and someone shouted as I was walking down the road. Sex ed! <laughs> I was like, yeah. And that was really it. I had a really weird one. I was in Ghana in the, I was, I know, and I was inside like a, a dark passageway and someone just went, oh, sex education, nice. And I was like, what? Like, like that for me was weird, you know? I was Wasn't like, he like, he didn't have like, dude, he didn't, he didn't have even shoes have shoes on, like you know? That. He was just chilling, he was just there and he was just walking and I was like, how did, do you get, a subscription to <laughs> Nice, man. Like, well, that's awesome. I'm glad that you watched it. Like, I like that he gave you a review. Nice. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, that was it. I asked him if he wanted to take a picture, and then he went, yeah, do you have a phone? <laughs> I said, like, he didn't even have a phone to take a picture. He was like, yeah, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> I was like, do you want oh. a picture? And he was like, yeah, take one with your phone. <laughs> and I was like, oh, nice. I'm the fan here. <laughs> oh, bless. It's going to be hard to top that, by the way. I know I don't go anywhere, so I haven't. Uh, I mean, I went to I went to France once, and uh, someone. <laughs> That's the end of the story. <laughs> that, that was hey, it. Well, when I hold it, it um, but no, someone like, there over there recognised me. So, <laughs> so there we go. In, so, your, <laughs> in your face. So there we go. Do you know what Emma? Uh, well, with Emma, I mean, I guess somebody didn't stop her, but somebody Margot Robbie oh, told the story about like. I'm gonna blow your mind. That was with me. Was it really? Okay. 
which is just if ridiculous. you've not seen this footage I'm i just have gonna... seen it but i want to watch it again because it's so funny so maybe you do or don't recognize me yeah yeah nice hair when was the last time somebody went do i know you or confuse you with another famous person I, someone came up uh, a few weeks ago, I was, at, I was eating a burger at Apple Pen, and they were like, oh, I loved you in Sex Education. That show is so cool. We just started watching it. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's not me. I'm, I'm with me. I love it. I love, I love that. Oh, sorry, that's not me. And the fact that Brad and Leo are just chuckling at that makes me laugh. I love the idea. Brad and Leo have watched Sex Education. I, I really hope they have, because that, 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 is, that is just everything. Can you remember what your audition scene was? And what was that like? My audition scene was the curly whirly scene. My audition scene was a combination of the curly whirly scene and the canteen scene, where I drop, drop anchor, <laughs> um, and I did that in an office with Ben Taylor and John Jennings, the producer and director. Amazing, no big deal. And they gave me the part. So. There and then. <laughs> You know the end of episode one, season one, taking you back, when Maeve basically has to convince Otis to start a sex clinic in a school with the scariest girl in school, yeah? The students at the school need your help, Otis. I'll deal with the business end of things, and you can do the therapy. Therapy? Yeah, sex therapy. So my job in those auditions was to basically convince a panel of producers and directors and, you know, all the lovely people who, in, in the end, did cast me, that I was the woman for the job. And that you were the scariest person on the and planet. And I was the scariest person on the planet. But she's not, though, is she, really? Everyone knows that. She's a softie. Tell me, honestly, what was it like telling your parents what to expect with this show? After you. Yeah, no, <laughs> I had to, yeah. <laughs> I, had to have, <laughs> I had to have, like a moment with them to be like, okay, guys. Um, yeah, it went, no, they, my the family were very, very <laughs> supportive, but I remember the day of it being released. My mom was like, I can't wait to watch it. I'm going to get into work and I'm going to watch it with everyone and stuff. And um, I just had to let her know that like, you cannot watch that first scene in the office, mom. Like, I mean, you already work for the NHS. Like, don't, like, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I'm so proud of my boy. Oh no, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> everyone come around, watch this. <laughs> No, yeah, so I had to have that moment. Yeah. <laughs> I said to my parents, I was like, just so you know, it's what well, all I said was like, because I think my dad was like, it's not like, it's not, it's not graf graphic, is it? It's not, it's not. And I was like, dad, it's it's called sex education. <laughs> it's in the and he was like, yeah, but there's no, there's no nudity or anything in it. I was like, dad, I'm just, it's called sex education. I'm just going to leave that there. I'm not going to talk about <laughs> it anymore. So pop that there on the table <laughs> and just leave you with that. And he was like, nah. <laughs> It won't be too, nah. In denial, like, oh. in denial. <laughs> and then they, but they loved it. And then they were like, I had to look away. I had to look away at some points, but yeah. But they loved it and they can't wait for the second one. Oh, that's so great. Yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't have any um, naughty scenes in the first season. It was just kissing. So yeah. for me, it was like. But you still had to go, I will be kissing. <laughs> Do it. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, um, just so you're aware. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.